How much force is on a long line when you're in a park? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to my slack playground. This is some spider silk and we're going to also test Feather Pro to see which line uh, gives us obviously the most tension and how much tension you need to long line in a park. Okay, so we have a 33 meter or 110 foot long line, slack line, depending on your definition of it. And um, I'm going to tension it uh, with just a five, um, a five to one with a multiplier, which really means a 15 to one. And it's just going to be me pulling. Michael Melner's here with me. He's going to help walk. And that way you get to see what 180 pounds? 187 pounds versus 155, I wish, 160 pound slack liner is like. Fancy trick, tie a super eight. It's like a figure eight, but before you pull all the way that through, flip it over the top. And you've got two handles. I'm gonna tighten that up on my pure lock. And I'm going to gently release. And I gently release by leaving the multiplier in so it doesn't suck my hand into the system. Wow, so I'm at 4.64 kilonewtons to get it that tight. That's a little over a thousand pounds of force. So uh, let's see how much pressure is on my anchors here when, uh, when I'm walking on it. Okay, before we get to the good stuff, shameless plug. Please support me on Patreon.com with one Stoke dollar per episode. That's only four bucks a month. If I can get the uh, majority of the people who really like this channel to give me one dollar per episode, it'll help pay for a lot of these experiments because I want these to be content rich. Okay, it's four and a half kilonewtons before we start. 5.6.2. Six point seven. Seven point oh eight. Wow. It's more tension than the high lines yesterday. During the whippers. Yeah, during whips. Seven point nine eight. Whoa. <laughs> Seven point nine eight. I'm not used to being on such a tight line. <laughs> I never long line anymore, I'm always high lining. Michael Milner at 187 pounds. He is at 6.2, hey, let's turn on max real quick. Oh, and resetting from my 6 point, whoop. Let's see, that's good. Wow, so Michael Milner got 6.44 kilonewtons as his uh, max force. Now you weren't bouncing, no. so <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not used to tight lines anymore. We only high line. So uh, let's find out what that was is in pounds. That's that's not even 1,500 pounds of force. Now this is a low stretch webbing like spider silk. So um, let's find out what a higher stretch webbing would do, and see if that changes it. This is not a hundred meter line. It would definitely have to be tighter if we did something longer for it to not touch in the middle. But this is uh, less force than I thought. Yeah, me too. But enough force for me to take it serious. <laughs> okay, so we could not uh, surpass eight kilonewtons on spider silk. Let's see what we can do here on Feather Pro. Okay, I just tightened this. Uh, stretchy webbing's a lot, gotta pull a lot more. I had to reset my pulleys. But it's at uh, four kilonewtons with as tight as one person of my stature could pull with a 15 to 1. That's a 5 to 1 with my little multiplier. Now, my multiplier is this big 3 inch SMC pulley and that, that makes more of a difference than the size of your other pulleys. So, fun fact. But anyways, I'm going to walk on this and we're going to see if we can get this um, higher than our spider saw. 4.92, 4.94. I can't believe we used to walk high lines this time. This is so crazy. Um, so we're at four point, we're at basically five kilonewtons? 
Yeah, 4.74, 4.86, 4.92. What's it reading now without me on it? 4.12. Okay, so 4 before I get on? Yeah. And 5 when I'm on it. That's an interesting factor with uh, stretchier webbing. Yeah. What about bouncing? 5.08, 5, 5.22, 5 5.52, hovering right around 5. There's the male monster walking. He's barely touching the ground. And he's only at 5. Point, 5 point two something. Wow. Um, when I was bouncing, I was putting on a little bit more. But stretchy webbing really, really absorbs a lot of the force. Wow, now that Mel's off, um, it, when I first pulled it, it was around uh, 4.1. And now it's, uh, now that we've both walked on it, it's 3.8 kilonewtons with no one on it. You call me fat? It's fatter than me. <laughs> That's true. Fatter muscles than me. <laughs> no. So I was only putting on 5.58-ish kilonewtons while I was walking on this and bouncing. So that was substantially less force, relatively, uh, on this stretcher webbing. The maximum force we put on the spider silk was like 7 kilonewtons, and this was uh, going to be about 5.5 kilonewtons. So you're only talking 1.5 uh, kilonewtons, 300, 350 pounds difference. So like, um, these forces are a lot less than I thought they were before I got this dyno, but they're still forces to take serious. Just remember, slacklining in the park can still be dangerous, so be careful, and remember, therefore, you shouldn't slackline at all.